This is the first meeting where we've come with defibrotide as the backbone drug now for the treatment of VOD with both approval in Europe, which we had a few years ago, and then literally last week, Charlie, FDA approved defibrotide for the treatment of VOD with multi-organ dysfunction uh, in the US, a landmark decision. Um, based on the prospective data from three trials that showed survival benefit over what would have been expected. Because this is a rare disease, but not only is it rare, it's very deadly in its severe form. So all the investigators felt there was really a lack of equipoise to any kind of you know, prospective placebo control. When you have a syndrome that has a mortality in excess of 80% and no effective therapy, single arm studies with historical controls were how we embraced the challenge. And we actually just had published in blood our pivotal phase three trial using a novel dynamic historical control methodology, which again, bought us European approval um, per the European regulators, which was great. Uh, FDA were impressed by it, but were more impressed by the consistency of signal uh, across three major studies showing survival benefit over what would have been expected, and that provided the basis for full approval by the FDA. So here at EBMT, it was an opportunity to discuss VOD, to talk about these approvals, to talk about how that changes how we treat this disease, and certainly uh, in both Europe and the US, um, the overriding message was treat early, because if you wait whilst the drug still can be life-saving, its efficacy diminishes as the patient gets sicker. The important point is the sooner you intervene, the better. The safety profile of the drug, frankly, is excellent, and in that context, it's been a real breakthrough as a new therapy for which there was never anything before. And Charlie, to be honest with you, what I found particularly heartening was listening to my pediatric colleagues, um, because this drug is particularly effective and important in children. And, um, you know, to see those stories played out and to look at data from children was uh, remarkable. The other piece of the meeting was the recognition that the criteria we use for defining severe VOD are really based on historical data and on regulatory requirements for the worst case scenario. And Dr. Moti and the EBMT have a new consensus guideline published in BMT uh, as of uh, this week, in fact, uh, and is now online, I believe, showing this new consensus, which is based upon mild, moderate, severe, and very severe, so that we try to get away from the fact that you have to wait to treat patients until they're so sick, the chances of getting them back diminish and come sooner. And uh, Charles, what we're presenting in an oral session tomorrow uh, is data from a large 700 patient experience showing that, as you might expect, the sooner you treat, the better.